Hello world, and welcome to another episode of Just Saying with Willie Dexter Harris and my new co-host here. Let's go what your name is. Teresa Foster. <laughs> and um, I want to say something real quick because I know we've uh, acquired a lot of new viewers and uh, um, I know there's a lot of questions about the LSU and, and uh, everything that I have uh, going on as far as how I rep Louisiana, but uh, I'm a LSU, New Orleans Saints, New Orleans Pelican, Louisiana Tech, Louisiana, uh, Louisiana Monroe, Louisiana Lafayette, Booker T, Fire Paul, West Monroe, anything Louisiana. You know what I'm saying? I'm ten toes with it. Period. You know what I'm saying? Of course I love my HBC Southern, you know, Gremlin. You know what I'm saying? We got to rep those. But my purpose as far as the LSU deal is, like I, I've said before on prior shows, the thing about LSU is it's the only CPS team that we have in the entire state. You know what I'm saying? You have other states like Mississippi and Texas and other states around the country. They have two and three teams that can compete for a national championship. Louisiana only has that one. Louisiana Tech, shout out to them. And the Monroes and the Lafayettes, shout out to them. But they can go undefeated for 10 years and still won't get in that playoffs for that uh, possibly stability at the championship. You know what I'm saying? LSU is the only team in the state that has that shot. So of course I'm going to represent them. And plus football season coming around. And speaking of football season, did you hear about what happened with Urban Meyer? Yes, I did. Three games. Three games. Urban Meyer should be fired, but of course you know once again you know it's the color of your skin that gets and, you in. And he's so winning. He's, he's winning. winning. Yes. So I mean Really, you can't go against anyone else when they say they've been sexually harassed or tell them they're fired. I, to me, they should really get back to the basics. Because example, hey, example, what yeah, you mean? Yeah, you know and, what I'm and, and then this lady saying all these years that stuff was going on, and he's swearing that he ain't know nothing about it. That's and they gave him three games, but you know, Micah Irvin three and games. a lot of people. And they really paid him while they was waiting to give him the three games. He should be fired. I'm with Micah Irvin on that. He should be fired. If it was anybody else, they would have been fired. You know, yeah. I um, even just to touch on this, I really hate that uh, Roy uh, got a bad deal when he hit his girlfriend in the elevator. You know, oh, uh, yeah. uh, 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 you talking about uh, uh, yeah. Williams? Yeah, Ray, not Williams. What's his name? Ray Rice. Yeah, Ray Rice. Ray Rice. I, Ray Rice. I, I hate yeah. that he got a bad deal. Definitely. On that, you know, because of some things that had already been going on, and it just was publicized. But I think it was a bad deal for him to get three games. I think he should have been fired. Yeah, cause, and this guy, he lost his whole career. Yeah, his whole career. He should be he should be black lady. But even though he wasn't the one actually committing it, you're guilty by association. Yeah, because that's you didn't do nothing to stop it until the camera got on. It's almost like Sam Dusky. You know, you didn't do anything to stop it. You knew what was going on. You turned the blind eye because you was winning. So, I mean, you know, one thing I can say, we got character and integrity about ourselves. Right. You know, and it's it, it's starting to show and it's coming around. Everything you hide in the dark, they say it come to the light. So it's starting to be social seen. media. Yeah. You can't hide. You can't hide. You know, anybody got I'll a at, camera. I'll anybody, be at the light ducking and looking. Who's looking at me? <laughs> you ain't got to worry about paparazzi no more. Oh, you yeah. Got, you can be the person probably sitting right beside you. Opportunity. I'm telling you, know you right saying? now, if I blow up, if you got some footage of me, you better make you some money. <laughs> <laughs> I know they got some on me. Somewhere, I, don't, I know somebody somewhere got some on me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But yeah, that's, that's, that's crazy. You know, I think he should have been fired. You know, uh, Paul Farnbaum, uh, one of the ESPN analysts, um, huge uh, SEC uh, supporter, and he been uh, following the, uh, the SEC network for years. He knows Urban Meyer, and he's trying to tell y'all that this guy is no good. You know what I'm saying? And I respect Paul Farbaum. You know what I'm saying? He's saying that the man is no good. What you seeing out here, you know what I'm saying, is not what you seeing. You know what I mean? I know a lot of people out here, you know, they love Urban Meyer. Why? Because he, he's a winner. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But but Paul, Paul, Paul Farbaum is saying you got to watch this guy. But all that means to me is simply this. Like you said earlier, it's going to come to the light. And so sooner that, or later, they're going to find out that this guy is really who they're saying he is already. And you know what? To pick it back off there, Nick Zayden is a winner. 
But I'm guarantee you, if Nick Saban knew anything about one of his players doing something like that, he wouldn't have kept quiet. It was quiet. assistant coach. Yeah, he wouldn't. He wouldn't have kept. He wouldn't have kept quiet. Assistant coach, player, he wouldn't have kept quiet on that talk. And he's a winner. But you just, it's this been going on. It's just coming to the light. Yep, social media. Social media, you can't hide from it. You I can't love hide it. From it. And to take from that, did you see the Donald? I can't even say president. How he said Aretha Franklin worked for him and how Aretha Franklin and him was close. Aretha Franklin didn't even like you. <laughs> Can you get Aretha Franklin mixed up with Amarosa? <laughs> she don't like it. <laughs> she don't like you. Nobody I'm like you. I'm starting to see what you were saying now. I'm kind of getting a little more respect for that. I'm thinking yeah. Amarosa been setting them up since The Apprentice. I'm telling you that lady, she's been there <laughs> since the beginning of the show. And if you remember that Apprentice uh, season, who was the one everybody was talking about the whole season? Amarosa. Amarosa. Even when she got fired, Amarosa. they still kept talking about her. And he still hired her. Hey, he hired that, them, she, yeah. She's a hell of a hustler. Shout out to Amarosa. Whatever plan, she executed it to the T. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to Amarosa for that. You know what I mean? Definitely that. You know what I'm saying? But while we're talking about, you know what I'm saying, uh, Aretha Franklin, uh, you, did you see the, the, the video when she was walking in the White House shaking her hands with all her fans and Pat LaBelle was standing on the side and Pat LaBelle reached out to shake her hand and Aretha Franklin swung her all around and walked around Aretha, uh, Pat LaBelle and kept I, going. I don't think Aretha Franklin liked Patty. They, for court, they said they, they never liked each other. Neither and, one of them. They never liked each other. I don't know. I just Pat LaBelle scary to But me. that was one of the most hidden rivalries I have ever heard of. Because I didn't know anything about this beef until after, after the After they class. showed that, I didn't even you know what I'm but saying. I mean, when that I was go one of the, research, the best hidden rivalry. Tupac and Biggie. Y'all can learn something from them ladies. You know what I'm saying? I mean, hate I don't each know other. About Biggie, but Tupac in Jamaica. <laughs> 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 yeah, I'll <laughs> You know, you might yeah. see my dad the cool. Yeah, they did. That was one of the best, best rivalries. But you I've know, ever seen. Aretha Franklin' life was private until recently. True. So she's private. So she's very private. But for him to get on TV and say that, please impeach him. Yeah, but like I say, you know, it, it's his day coming. You know, I, that's why I just sit back and I just watch. You know, people, I hear people say all the time, they ain't gonna do nothing, 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 probably because you ain't helping them do it. People need help, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, you, everybody talk about that right to vote. Man, them people ain't get sprayed with water hoses, bit by dogs, <laughs> to get a right that didn't mean nothing. You know what I'm saying? So, if you get out there and you put these people in office, then you got to be prepared for what they do. And if they don't do what you expect them to do, you can get them out. You just have to get a larger group. And with this social media, that ain't hard to do. And you know what? I'm telling you something. We have to get out and vote, too. We got to put the Democrats back in office. And, it's, and, and, and then they want to talk about, you know what I'm saying, the situation on that thing. You remember the first election when they elected President Obama yes. to office for the first time? You know, the polls open every time at 7 o'clock in the morning. You know that particular day, it was people parked all around the street, all around the corner. You know what I'm saying? Everywhere trying to make sure they was there to get their vote in. What happened? He won. He won. So tell me how y'all let that man get in office. Because you, know, you didn't go out. The Russians. So you can't say. <laughs> the Russians. The Russians. <laughs> we knew it, we knew it wasn't this. Barack and Hillary. You know, we done found that out this week. You know what I'm saying? We recently found that out. It wasn't Barack and it was not Hillary wiretapping him. You know what I'm saying? I know you feel real funny about that. His own lawyer. His own lawyer. But he's still, you know, people still making excuses for him. It's just really crazy. Really, you know, uh, basketball-wise, Love and Hip Hop Hollywood, you have uh, Black Ink Crew. You know, the president of the United States is the biggest reality TV show of them all. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? We need to go out there and do our show right in the front of his, uh, in front of the White House, outside the gates. Cause I've because I've never met a man. He, you, you, really the, you are the most powerful man in the world, president of the free world. 
What? And he having Twitter wars with people. He just get up and calling start people talking. names. He does. You know He's what I'm saying? Angry. That I mean, you're the president of the United States, and you actually sitting around reading people Twitter, responding to them. If just so happened. President Trump, if you're watching this, I am going to speak in terms that you can understand. I dig old Kagana. So, hey, <laughs> props up to you. <laughs> hey, on that note, we'll be right back. We're just saying with your man Willie next to Harris and Teresa Foss. <laughs> All right. Booker T. Washington Alumni Foundation presents the all-class reunion Soul Bowl Weekend, where your $125 registration fee covers all alumni-sponsored events. Thursday night, it's the Rooftop Club Hayes Social at 9 p.m. Friday night, it's the Hall of Fame Dinner and Dance at Diamond Jacks featuring Alter Ego, Jay Brown, and comedian Lee Adams. Saturday, September 15th, it's the Soul Bowl and the after party at the State Fairgrounds inside the Ag Building. Visit our website or call 318-425-2707. Say you like jazz? You really like jazz? Well, K-Ham Radio has something just for you. It's the Jazz Sports Smooth Jazz Cruise with Frederick L. as your pilot. Each Sunday from 12 o'clock noon until 1 o'clock p.m. Featuring the hottest smooth jazz in the universe. I'll be your pilot each Sunday. It's the Jazz Sports Smooth Jazz Cruise with me, Frederick L. Visit us and listen at khamradio.com. That's K-H-A-M radio.com. All right, we back. We don't need to say no more, no more. The Braxtons are back. The Braxtons oh, are back, man. Did, did you see? Them? Did you see the Braxtons? Well, well, I don't know. If they're really back because when they, right no, now, right? that wasn't because at the end they ain't show up and they had to cancel the shooting. I'm the producer walked to the camera just like this, yeah, and said that the uh, the talent is not coming. Are they still into it? I don't know, but they had just left this, well, it kind of seemed like it was cool when they left. Now, I know Trina kind of got the yelling at Tony because she said Tony wouldn't listen to her. You know what I'm saying? Because she wanted to explain to Tony about this restaurant idea, and Tony really wasn't trying to hear it. You know what I'm saying? But just to keep the peace, she kind of laid it back a little bit. Because, I mean, Trina was like, you never listen. You just shut up, zip him. Just talk to him like that. Tony was just sitting there like, okay, Jesus. Tony, you know what I'm saying? Tony, like, what like, what I'm saying? Tony, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, whatever. Yeah, and, and, and then... <laughs> And then, and then she told me she get married. She been engaged for nine months. They ain't got no date. You know what I'm saying? She she said she ain't got no color. I'm just shocked that she married him because he tatted everywhere behind his ear on the little part right here. He is tatted everywhere. I'm just shocked. It just don't. It's almost like a Bobby. And 2018. Whitney. I was thinking yeah. that myself. 2018. Yeah, Bobby, Bobby and Whitney. Whitney. Really? Because this this goddess is for the married this this hood. You know what I'm and saying? I'm saying so that he ain't, ain't edu uh, smart and he educated. Gotta be. I mean, he been in business a long time. So, you know I mean, he gotta it's, have just some sense. A, it's just his image and his demeanor towards her. And, and nine months, somebody getting cold feet. Something going on. I mean, they ain't got no dates in it. Me personally, I don't see it. I'm telling y'all, I don't see it. I, don't, I, I don't, ain't never I seen just, it. I don't see it. You know what I'm saying? Just keep watching. I don't know what's going on. Like I said, you know, they 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 um they hung out a little bit together. They they talked about you know um the girls went out to look for a dress for Tony. They didn't even tell Tony they were looking for a dress. Just trying to help her. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? When the, 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 the Birdman supposedly to call Tawana. He told Tawana that she he's gonna wear a red tux and he wants her to wear a red dress. So they went and found her a red dress. You know what? I'm so happy to hear that because I don't want to wear white. Because <laughs> I, uh, I got a 10 year old and ain't nothing pure about me. Now, I'm going to just be honest with you. So I won't even shame the church. Matter of fact, I'm not getting married in no church. I'm going to get married off of Clyde Fan. If y'all don't know what that said, put me a little stage out there, and that's how I'm going to do it. I might have on some days and do it. 
Come in. At the wedding, no, no. At the wedding. You gonna have some on your yeah, head? And I really just want to be friends and family. You gonna cover your face? With one of them oh, no. I want to see everything. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be behind no veil. <laughs> uh uh, nine months. It's just something. If he if he's telling them though that the colors, he probably is trying to surprise her and handling everything no, and without her knowing. I want to say he been yeah, calling so, her a lot. So it might be, but you know, like I said, sometimes Beauty and the Beast. You know, that's what I they remind me of. Mm. That's what. Well, I'm sorry. I'm finna say what I'm finna say. Bobby and Whitney, don't get me wrong with the beauty and the beast. The beauty was Bobby. The beast was Whitney. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> them, them church girls. Them flip flop. Yeah, them church girls is all I'm going to say. I would tell you about beauty I told and my the son beast. to get him a church girl <laughs> first. First. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you about Beauty and the Beast. I know you. I know you've seen this act bar dude with um, what's her name, Tierra Marie Marie from the Hollywood. Yeah, 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 Tierra Marie. Yeah, the one who did the video vacation. Yeah, that, yeah, I kinda yeah. Like that song yes. though. I, I, I pulled it up on on YouTube. Checked it out. That's a nice song. But um, they seen how the guy strong arms her and criticizes her friends and don't even know him. And then these girls researched him and found out that he got a wife, then brought the wife in front of them. You know what I'm saying? They actually talking to this lady and they trying to figure out how y'all, she's saying how happy y'all is and how y'all always together, but she would, he be with her. She, it's, it's dude slick. Dude slick. What got, dude has is good back motion. That's all I'm gonna <laughs> say about that. If you got good back motion, it could be raining. And if it's good to us, it ain't raining, it's sun outside. My baby say, it's sun outside. Don't play yourself. She getting it. She know what's up. She ain't ready to stop getting it yet. When she get tired of getting it and her back, his back getting a little tired, she going to see it's sunny outside. So that's why that's why ladies be, be so forgiving yeah, for a long time. If it's good to us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you what they won't say. <laughs> nah, I'm just telling you. If it's good, that go a long way. That's why I, I'm telling you, a brother putting it down. You ever seen a man not working and a woman work and he just stay at home? Mm -hmm. He ain't got no skills but one skill. <laughs> Turn out them lights. She put up with it. Have a bad water around. I'm telling you. But me. I need something a little different, but it's out there. I used to sit up and study that, but oh, I ain't working. So I got to hanging out with one of them. He puts it down, put that thug loving. These women say they don't want no thug. Every woman want a little thug with them dog clothes, baby. Like Ray J. Oh yeah, Ray J, yeah. But Ray, Ray J, J doing some crazy stuff, and she still there. You know, you know, a couple years ago, he put a, a patent on her name. He owns her name. Princess Love. Ray J owns it. She ain't know he did it. But see, if she didn't know he did it, she's still vibrant and living. She can get that reverse. I mean, but she just married him without a prenup, remember? He tore it up. So they married right now without a prenup. Oh, no. Nah, the way his mama, a snake, it's a prenup. We just don't know it. <laughs> Believe that. Because remember, she the one gave it to him. Yeah, but I'm telling you, that mama, it, when that lady was sitting in their house when they came back, it reminded me so much. So when he came back, yeah, she when he wasn't came out. back, when he came back and, and she, she was sitting, sitting in, in house, his house on the couch, and really, wide open. And really, the story he told, it was really sad. So who, let me just say this: Who baby is it? A one or Safari? Who baby? Yeah, you know, lyrical pregnant. Man, the way this reality TV going, I'm going to say Safari. I'm shooting for you, Safari. <laughs> I'm going to say Safari. And, 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 and Nicki Minaj blowed him down on this radio show. Uh, I think that was Sway. Man, she went at Safari, man. It's all over Instagram. Well, let me just say this to you, Nicki Minaj. You can come for me. <laughs> I'm not going to do with this right now, but I'm going to show you what a good country booty look like. <laughs> because that's what you got. You need to go see that same Dr. K. Michelle 
than seeing it. Honestly, I just don't get what these women are doing to themselves. And she's doing a lot of talking right now. She did some shade on the VMAs and had to clean that up with Travis Scott. Right. And uh, Kylie. So she and they trying, caught that. They caught that. Now she's trying to say it wasn't it's entertainment, which is true. You're giving the people what they want to hear. But at the same time, Safari is going to be Safari. Safari is making money like everybody else. You making yours? But I do want you to get... But at least he ain't mimicking nobody. Oh, ain't no. Nobody came to the industry like that guy has. Oh, no. You know what I'm saying? And I mean like that guy. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. That's Safari. That is, that is, that is... Okay. <laughs> you know everybody else from reality TV done been the haze so far. Come here, I'll be your tour guy. Oh, you trying to get him the street boy? Come on out here. <laughs> <laughs> you trying to take an Andy Ray? Come around the second week of the month, not the fourth. I wouldn't have a good time. <laughs> So what do yeah. you think about the basketball wives? Ooh. You think Tammy gonna really marry him? She already said she ain't. I think he gonna leave. I think before the end of this season, oh boy gonna be in love. I think he should, really. Because he really want kids. Every man say they don't, but he voiced his but opinion. That's the thing about, about when you got these, when these cougars, yeah. got these real young men, and you can't give them what they need. You know what I'm saying? That boy want a baby. If you can't do it, you you don't need to be trying to hold him like that. Uh, Zeke, I got about two more years. <laughs> just call me after the football season. <laughs> we can make a hell of a play. I'm just telling you. I'm, be honest. Google me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And we'll be right back after this. With your Just Saying with Teresa Foster and me. Dexter Harry. <laughs> The Noble Savage Tavern, located downtown, is Shreveport's best-kept secret. We proudly feature a fine selection of single malt scotch, cigars, craft cocktails, and craft beers from around the world. Our executive chef prepares a bar menu full of local favorites, served until midnight, and features an exciting weekly menu of entrees and appetizers, including wild game, fresh fish, red meat, and white meat. Entertainment includes live music, games, and conversation. Join the Noble Savages at 417 Texas Street in downtown Shreveport and find out what you've been missing. Open Tuesday through Saturday from 5 p.m. to 2 a.m. Artletex. It's Shreveport's 9th Annual Pre-Labor Day Blues Festival. Sunday, September 2nd at the Festival Plaza downtown. Featuring Miss Jody, David Princeton, Carl Sims, Vez, Avail Hollywood, and Jeter Jones. Shreveport's 9th Annual Pre-Labor Day Festival. Sunday, September 2nd. Tickets on sale at Lil J's Music, King of Wings, On Time Fashion, Burnin's Barbershop, Quick Car Wash, Golden Lady, Sound City, and Best Auto. For vendor information, call 318-220-6118. All right, now we back. You know what I'm saying? Which we just saying with 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 me and Teresa. Her. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> but um, you got some on your mind. You know what I'm saying about a certain little issue, man. And I totally agree with it, man. I think it's something that you need to uh, bring awareness to. We listening. Let me just say this with some on my mind. Our teachers here in the state of Louisiana are the most underpaid teachers in any state. They deal with the same things other people in other states deal with. And me, for instance, coming from Houston teaching, I was making fifty thousand dollars. It wasn't certified. You get here, you go through too much red tape. You teachers here in Louisiana, Shreveport alone, the state of Louisiana, you really need to get together collectively. And you need to walk out and, and take a stand against this pay you getting. It's not fair. I feel like not just with you, the teachers, you got not only the teachers, you got the janitors, you got the cooks. These people are putting in your children what you're not, eight hours a day, six hours a day, however long they're there, to get them ready for college, the NBA, football. Why not pay them? The people that shooting We Are Cattle are lining their pockets. You need to take a stand. Now, I told y'all, I'll lead y'all. 
<laughs> you know, because I love working with kids, but I could not raise my son on the salary. Yeah, I could have took the test to get certified. For what? I can make more money, Lord forgive me, grinding and hustling legally with side gigs than I could in the school system. So I had to leave to do what was best. So what I'm telling you, any teachers that want to come down and, and join our show to tell your side, we welcome you. Because it needs to be out screen. there. The number is on the screen. You need to come down and you need to start this because it's no sense. I heard the state was getting y'all a little raise. It's no sense. First, first year teachers should be making right out of college fifty two thousand. It is what it is. It's and even the kids. The and another thing I want to touch on in the state of Louisiana, we need a kid. We need a school that strictly deals with autism. It's sad that we have kids that's autistic in sped classrooms. Right. They're not understanding what's going on. They need a particular school for kids with autism. It's a lot that needs to be done in Louisiana. We, like he said, the number is on the screen. It's, you can always call us and contact us for anything you need. But for teachers, I'm on your team. And if you need to reach out, you know I ain't scared to say nothing. I keep telling you. <laughs> Definitely not. I feel God. And that is <laughs> but I'm going to take y'all out too with a little comedy on this here. Have you ever saw your kid standing up and he jump all of a sudden? Something hit him and you see that hand, he look like he digging for gold. Well, I'm just here to tell y'all right out here world. I'm 46, it happened to me Monday. <laughs> I had to take my son next to the hospital, uh, to the doctor, and I went home, took my shower, washed up. The dentist, how Jenny was standing there talking to me, and she was saying, yeah, you need to do this and floss and stuff. All of a sudden, I hit that itch. Oh, wait a minute. She said, what's going on? I said, I'll be right back. I had to go dig for some grown lady gold. <laughs> Someone right. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, we laughed about that. One thing about doing comedy, you have to not only talk about people, you have to talk about yourself. I mean, I almost did the Elvis Presley and Michael Jackson twisted together. I had that hip gone and something hit me real quick. So this is what I'm saying. Nicki Minaj, if the women with these nice booties you done bought, if you don't wear carry baby wipes, it ain't real. <laughs> Real women with real butts. Like J-Lo. J-Lo, like J -J Jamie Foxx thing. It used to be back on the block. Hey, I am. But <laughs> you do. Well, you have got to hit them whites. I'm telling you, that I was out itching for a scratch. <laughs> Man, I could not help it. Okay. But yeah, I mean, it's it's just really sad that the people, honestly, that put their life on the line for us get paid less. The doctors, lawyers, they all are going through teachers. Yeah. But they, they living in mansions, driving beamers. These teachers living in apartments, been teaching for 25 years, living in apartments. That's why I'm not in the school system, because I'm telling you something. I came to work one day, they was jumping on the disc. I got up there with them. I declared myself mentally sane. <laughs> it is what it is, because my thing is, you paying, you, we come to school to do that job. And in order for, our, to, for us to do our job, we have to sit back and let a kid tell us what they can and cannot do, what they won't do. So why would I do it? And if a teacher has to go to a second job and get off at 12 or 1 o'clock, let me explain something to y'all. Bobby and Ricky, Ronnie and Mike, Ain't learning nothing okay. because they're tired. And if you got to deal with, you got 28 in one class for one thing, that's too much. If, if they tired, you got 15 out of 28 that's on medicine. Mm -hmm. Homemade medicine, what I mean, you telling your kid to act slow. See, I was slow too when I taught them. Right. That's how I act. But it's really serious. You playing, I'm, 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 it's a, I'm laughing about it, but at the same time, I'm serious. You have these young parents that get these kids put on this medicine for a check. The doctors knowing this, they don't care because guess what? They getting a bigger pay. Right. Every time they bill Medicaid, they getting a check. 
sick. So y'all need to stop doing that and you need to give your teacher some help. Louisiana needs to open their eyes. We are 10 years already behind on the education poll anyway. Anytime a child leave the state of Louisiana, if they hadn't been in magnet program or something like that, uh, something there. like that, they are not up to par with these kids in Texas. Mm -hmm. And it has to start here. You have the teachers that has the passion, but at the same time, they're getting burnt out. Right. Myself, passionate about teaching kids and love kids, and one of my students see me out and they come up to me, hey. Ms. Foster, you, you taught me something. You you showed me, taught me some real things. I got a job. I'm in school. That's good to hear, but I couldn't survive. You right. know, it was almost by me putting up my kid for somebody else's kid, and I can't do that. Y'all know I love Ox. <laughs> 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 but it's really need an issue that the superintendent them and all these commissioners and people that's got these seats need to sit around and think about. Right. Your teachers are leaving because they're not being paid. Right. Bottom yeah. line. And, and and on two things, I want to give a shout out to uh, Lashana Bashaw. It's one of our close friends of mine. She got a teacher over the year over there in Texas. You know what I'm saying? And, be and before we leave, uh, you want to give a Your shout, shout out to somebody. Mike Parson, Parson Catering. Man, you did a wonderful job. I mean, if you want shrimp po' bars, lobster tails, Mike Parsons is the person to see. I have his phone number, and I think everybody would love to see what he has to offer. Let me get his number. I should have had it ready. Because this man, he really can cook. I'm telling you, I got the Waffle House, man. I got everything in here, but what I need in here, here you go. Mike Parsons. Where you at? 29 area code 318-294-7914. Say it one more time. 318-294-7914. Parsons Catering. All right, now. And on that note, we'll see y'all next week. We're just saying with Willie Dexter Harris. And, and Teresa Fox. You know it. Peace. Peace. <laughs>